Well, as gas prices continue to climb higher and higher, many are wondering if relief is ever coming. Governor Gavin Newsom has proposed that multi-billion dollar relief package in the form of rebates to car owners. But is that enough? KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from Mission Valley. She's got reaction to all this in front of a very busy Costco, Teresa. Good evening, Logan. Yes, our photographer David and I, we were cruising around the county today and the gas prices, they're just keep going up and up over $6 a gallon here in Mission Valley. Well, we were here a few weeks ago at the Costco and it was under $5 a gallon for regular gas. Right now it's $5.49, but people are just so frustrated. We wish we had solutions trying to figure out how we're going to solve this problem. Whoop. There, see, look at all this traffic over here. It's, it's insane. We're at the corner of Friars Road and here at the Costco. It's just so out of control over here. But let's take a look at some numbers. We have information for you on the screen from AAA. Now, the gas prices as of today, the national average, $4.24. Now, looking at California, $5.92. And here in San Diego, $6.02. Now, you're going to look at some video of just what KUSI has been showing throughout the community as politicians and local interest groups are proposing suspending the gas tax for the state of 51 cents or completely suspending the total. Now we're talking federal and state plus fees of nearly $1.25 on top of the price of fuel. Governor Gavin Newsom announced a plan to provide $11 billion in relief through gas rebates for vehicle owners. KUSI discussing rebates and gas tax with Richard Ryder, chairman of San Diego Tax Fighters. Take a listen. It's the worst solution of all the po possibilities you could have come up with, but the idea of, of giving people relief makes sense. Several states have already enacted a suspension of their state gasoline tax. It's easy. There's no paperwork. Uh, it doesn't take any regulatory operation. It's direct at the pump. It's very straightforward. Well, straightforward's not in a way that Sacramento operates. The politicians, whenever they can, try to convert a problem into a rebate check. That's the new way of operating in California. It's called the universal basic income. Give people as much money as possible, primarily from the people who are paying most of the taxes. We've been talking to many San Diegans getting their gas today, asking, what would you prefer? Would you prefer the rebate of $200, $400, or $8, or that gas tax suspension? And the majority of people we spoke to say they prefer the gas tax suspension because they need it right now, because they've been spending so much money charging their credit cards for gas, so that $200, $400, $800 wouldn't help much. But coming up later in Good Evening San Diego, you're going to hear from some locals that are spending up to $3,000 in gas per month because they own their own business. They have diesel trucks and they just have to drive. So many people are telling us they have no choice. They have to pay into these high gas prices. But Logan, I don't know when we're going to get some relief. I was just talking to our news director, Steve Cohen, before the live shot. And he says, you know, we, we wish we had solutions. We wish we could fix the problem, but we could just definitely show the problem. That's what we see right now that this is, this is what we're seeing all across San Diego County. And we don't know when this is going to end, but we definitely need to see some relief. Yeah, okay. and in fact, Governor Gavin Newsom could use his emergency powers, since we're still under a state of emergency, to knock out that uh, 51 cent state uh, gas tax. That would just be fair for everybody, anybody, everybody who's filling up gas starting tomorrow. So they don't seem to be willing to do it. Teresa Sardina, live in Mission Valley. Teresa, thanks.